So this is a video of the API Saltwater Master Test Kit. Uh, what you get in the box um, is a nitrate, nitrite, a pH, and ammonia uh, drop drips or drops. And uh, the bottles all look like this. They're just you know labeled. And then you also get four little test tubes as well as some cards to show you uh, you basically just match, match the color of the test to the card and then the cards also have instructions on the back uh, just a little picture form instructions um, it also comes with a little booklet of instructions with in a word format um, or typed format text format whatever you want to call it uh, but this is really super easy to follow so I usually just follow that. What I usually like to do, I have my little grumpy shot glass here. And I like to get about uh, 20 to 25 uh, milliliters of water from the tank over there and put it in there. This is just a baby dropper that I got at Walmart. I think it was like 99 cents or $1.25 or uh, it was under two bucks, something with tax. It was like a dollar twenty-five or something like that. Uh, it's a total of five milliliters, and I also use that for feeding. I actually use the same little uh, tub for feeding. I put my um, frozen food in here with a little bit of water, just kind of squirt it on there, and I uh, let it uh, dissolve up, and then I'm able to spot feed where the stars like to hide out and I'm also able to feed the little blenny uh, so anyway I'm going to start one of these tests I'm only going to show one of them but they're really easy to to do um, trying to do this with one hand here so usually I'll have it in my other hand and then use the dropper to fill it but since I have to hold the camera and I don't have a tripod I just fill it all the way up, I don't know, yeah you can see that I think and then just kind of slowly put drops in until we have a little bit too much but that's okay so we're gonna go ahead and do the nitrite I don't know if you can read that I don't, it's not focusing too well but trust me it is nitrite so here you just take five drops of the nitrite bottle, uh, give it a good shake, and then wait five minutes. So actually, let's see what else we got. We'll do the pH because the pH um, shows right away. We don't have to wait five minutes, so I don't have to edit or anything. So the pH one also says five minutes, or excuse me, five drops, and then set this down so we're going to do five drops one two three four five all right now it's been lights out for almost two hours on the tank so the ph might be a little lower than we would like it's pretty stuck in there so I'm just going to invert it a little bit, but on, that's my puppy, I'm sure you guys saw the video of him, if you didn't you should because he's awesome, and uh, match it up, and it's actually at about, uh, I'd say between 8.2 8.4, so, so it's actually looking pretty good. Um, the rest of the tests are pretty much just as easy. Some of them, the hardest one, hardest, uh, is the ammonia, where you gotta put eight drops of, oh, not the ammonia. You can tell I was really ready for this video, huh? Uh, you put eight, uh, ten drops of bottle one. This is the nitrate, which I will go ahead and do, but I'm just not gonna film it. Uh, we're gonna do ten drops of bottle one, invert it a bunch, wait thirty seconds, ten drops of bottle two, shake it vigorously for a minute, and then wait five minutes. So, uh, all in all, if you're doing all of them, I suggest uh, doing the nitrate one first, followed by the nitrite, and then the other two in whatever succession you want, simply because uh, you don't have to wait 
um, for the other two actually you do have to wait for the ammonia so if I had to recommend I'd say nitrate first followed by nitrite or ammonia and then finally high range pH which is pretty much an instant test so anyway I'm gonna throw this up on YouTube now just uh, wanted to let you all see who are watching my videos what kind of test kit I use